making a show that is provocative. Something about Jocelyn is just that she's a, she's a born and bred performer, and I think that that extends to um, every aspect of her life. And I also think that the the, the you know the uh, occasional bareness of the character physically mirrors the the the, the bareness. <laughs> Jocelyn is almost like an alternate reality if I had made some of the wrong choices in my life. And Jocelyn is just that she's a, she's a born and bred performer, and I think that that extends to um, every aspect of her life, not just her professional life. You know, I think that the way that she dresses, for example, is, uh, is, is her trying to tell you something all the time or say something to the people that she's around or express herself in some kind of, in some kind of way. <laughs> Sometimes things that might be revolutionary are taken too far. Um, I think, look, I think it's, uh, we, we live in, an, in an, a very sexualized world. And, and we see this in, in pop music it, it, and how it sort of reflects, um, you know, the, the how, it, it's how it reflects the kind of the underbelly of, of the internet in some ways. Um. Um, I think that with, you know, with, with this show and working, working with Lily, it's, we had a lot of discussions about who, who she is as a, as a person, who, who Jocelyn is as a person, and what she's feeling, what she's angling, what she's, who she's playing to. like Wes Anderson is a, a, a conductor of an orchestra and all of us are players of our particular instrument and we hyper focus on our instrument and just present it without really knowing exactly how it's all going to piece together and he conducts it a little less of Brian a little more <laughs> Scarlet at this moment or whatever it so he he ad makes the adjustments as he goes <laughs> goes in and talks to the director and says, I, I just don't think I understand the play. And, and he says, uh, it, well, you don't have to. You just keep telling the story. And that's, I think, in a nutshell, what the film meant to me, is that we go through life, we don't know exactly what's going to happen, how long our lives will be, who will be in our lives, how it'll all play out, we just have to keep telling the story. Just keep moving forward and, and be a storyteller. 
No, I was 17 when we met. He was the first person that wasn't in my family that was over the age of 20 that actually asked me a question and cared what I said. Um, and uh, was curious about like what I was interested in, and that was that was a, that 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 feeling is why we're all here, because he does want to know about all of us, and he's curious, and he sees things in us sometimes that we don't see. <laughs> Like the whole film is so much about performance and the different roles we play in different environments, the different for different people, for ourselves even, and so. Aspect of, I mean, even here, like the different ways that you know we as women are expected to behave at this festival even compared to men what we were supposed to uh, how we're supposed to look how we're you know how we're supposed to carry ourselves is it's uh, your your the expectations are different on you all the time and it affects how you behave whether you're buying into it or whether you're rejecting it or whether you're doing something in between um you know you're definitely um defined by the social strictures upon you